Alright, Shalom Akim, Brother Ra Azar Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, the great millstone. And salutations unto the sincere Akim, run of four winds, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Just a quick upload. Came across this article on the on the Drudge Report um, website. You know, as we're in the month of Halloween, aka Salm Hain, month of witchcraft, all kind of um, wicked and foul acts, man, going on with these damn elites, man, as usual, because they trust in their witchcrafts, as the scriptures say. And um, and this is part of that shit, man. This is um, from the Sun newspaper. It says, so disrespectful, Halloween display sparks outrage for featuring the 58 gravestones of Las Vegas shooting victims. You know, Esau just making mockery of the situation. And also because, you know, that was a big sacrifice, man. That, that whole situation over there in Vegas or whatever it was called, man. Sin City was a straight sacrifice unto Satan, man. It said 58 people died originally. It said 59 died and 527 injured. When you add up both of them numbers individually, this is just my um, uh, perspective on on, on the, the numbering, because you know Esau likes to use those numbers on the left hand side for that witchcraft and that, you know, sacrifices unto Satan. And this is the picture here. It said both of those numbers added up to um, 14, man. 5 and 9 is 14, and 527 that was injured added up to 14. And when you flip that backwards and you minus the numbers, uh, four and minus one is what three, man. So the, the, the both of those numbers come up to thirty-three. What thirty-three good masonry, man, which is the highest, you know, which coven or highest the level in a in a masonic lodges that you can get, man. So that means there was a master mason you know, situation, man, which is going talking about the elites, the global elites, Esau, these Jewish rap bastards, man, that are in leadership right now, you know, but about to you know lose the throne. They're about to get kicked out of their throne very soon by our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai. That shows that that whole Vegas situation was um, set up from the higher-ups, man. From the global elites, man. As what a big sacrifice. And now they're just making mockery of the situation for what celebration Halloween. It's, uh, you know, pushing gravestones and all this madness. And, and you know, and it's, it's, all, it's all part of their witchcraft anyway. So it's just demonic as fuck. You know, brothers were eating, brothers ain't even into that Halloween bullshit, you know. And we ain't got nothing to do with all that witchcraft. But I just want to read this quickly and read the one, one or two scriptures and close out. It says, a Halloween display has sparked outrage for featuring 58 gravestones for the Las Vegas um, shooting victims. It says, this display was put outside a home in the same city in Nevada in which this um, gunman Stephen Paddock, Paddock massacred scores of people just weeks ago and he wasn't the only shooter as you can see from various videos that there was not there was more than one shooter but you know he saw you know the jewish um media got their their you know their ploy on it to push this guy's the main shooter man which is bs really um it says images show rows of spooky halloween style gravestones with images of spiders and um, on them Along with letters of R.I.P. and the U.S. flag on each, see that's that's a big that was just a big sacrifice to Satan, man. You know that's why they did it in the month of Halloween. They did it in the month of Halloween, which is which is what October, which is at the end of October. You know, it's supposed to be the beginning or the darkest part of the year. You know, for that winter solstice and all that. You know, the um, some witches' Sabbath, which October is one of their their great witch uh, one of their great witch Sabbaths of the year. And you know, go that Halloween goes back to what the the Celtics, man. You know, of Ireland. You know, start like, going to the Druids, and they even say before that, it, you know, they they. But obviously, it goes back to ancient Egyptian worship and Babylonian worship. It's all witchcraft anyway, and that's where it all stems from. That Hamite worship, man. And um, they just incorporated and done it, switched it up. But you had the Celtics and the Druids and all that. You know, of Ireland that was into this madness, man. Where, you, you know. They need basically sacrifices, man. Human sacrifices, you know, animal sacrifices in mass in mass numbers. So this is definitely part of that that 
that, that cycle of witchcraft, man, that Esau is displaying. Because, you know, we're at the end of his cycle, he's at the end of his cycle of his kingdom. He's about to get taken off the throne, as I said earlier. Well, he's got he's basically going all out trying to satisfy um, the deeds um, his deeds to Satan, man, in, in hopes to get that that new world order, you know, solidified, man. But he's only going to get a glimpse of that before the Lord takes his bitch ass out for good, man. And you got the banner and all that. He said the display had been taken down after after the fact. But obviously, he sort of did it to mock. The situation, man, because he doesn't care about the little people. He doesn't care about them, you know, you domesticated people. He, he looks at you, the them Jewish devils call call you people goyim, man, sheeple, man, cattle. That's why they want to install chips inside your asses, man, because they just look at you as cattle, man. And the ultimate way to, you know, uh, put the capstone on a or, you know, seal the deal of a slave is to. It's to, it's to put put your seal on them, man. And this devil seal is the RFID chip system, man, which is off, man. Which, in the man of the men of the Lord, we ain't gonna indulge in that, man. We'd rather be beheaded, if needs be, man. We'd also be faithful unto death. But you know, you can see how demonic this shit is, man. Just by the whole lighting and the the pictures and the shit, the way it's been set up, shit looks demonic as fuck, man. But as I said, this is a just like the actual event or the drill that happened that night in Nevada, Sin City, of Las Vegas, was a um, was a big op, man. You know, it was a big sacrifice, basically. This is displaying that this is, you know, solidifies that that was a whole setup to be a sacrifice in the first place, man. Or whoever the hell put up this this gravestone, a graveyard, you know. They obviously are into that 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 left hand side, you know, warlock, witchcraft types type shit, you know. And um, anyway, I want to read one one, probably one scripture and close out, man. I just want to quick upload, you know. It says Isaiah forty seven and nine it says, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, and I might as well read from that. Verse eight it says therefore. Hear now this, thou art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly, that saith in thy heart, thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. And that's these devils, man. These devils are proud, man. Them that lift up there, you know, them that come from the cliffs of the rock, you know. These devils are proud, man. And that's, that's why the Lord's going to destroy and exterminate these devils after a thousand years of hardcore bondage, man. Under who? The Israelites, man. Who they've been oppressing for the past four 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 to five hundred years, you know, going back to Columbus and all that. And even before then, man, even back 2,000 years ago, we was being oppressed by these damn devils, man. When the Lord was on the scene and he told us to flee into the mountains after he passed in, 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 in you know, 70 AD, that's when they besieged Jerusalem. We had to flee from our homeland, man. It was all prophecy, but these devils was in rulership then. So they have to even pay for all that as well, man. All that, all that fuckery that happened back then, two thousand years ago, and even, even more so today, because we lost our heritage, man, under these devils, and they're claiming a fraud, acting like they're us, calling themselves Jewish, you know, Sephardic Jews, I call them sh sh shit Jews, you know, that 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 think they're us, man, and the rest of them, other than denominations of Jewish fables out there that claim that they're the people of the Lord, it's all it's all madness, man. But the Lord's gonna set everything in order very soon. It says, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. So that's that pride, man, because they always pass down their riches to who? Their children, man, as they pass down and die off. Because they Esau knows about that reincarnation. It says, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. So the Lord's going to exterminate you. He's going to cut off your line, man. That root of Edom's going to get cut off after a thousand years, man. You know, you know, your whole line's going to be exterminating it like it never was, so like it never existed. You know, so they shall come upon thee in the perfection, in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and the, for their great abundance of thy enchantments. It says, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, because this is, that's, that, that's their part of their, their power structure, man, as well as the Lord blessing them with the sword, the, the way that they, they you know, they get things done is on the left-hand side by worshipping Satan, man, because that's their power, man. 
you know. Our powers, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, on the right hand side for the nation of Israel, and Esau's power is Satan, man. You know, he's the, he's the spawn of Satan, you know. Going back to the garden, that serpent, man, says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None, none seeth me. Because that's these global elites, these Edomites, you know, the Rothschilds and all that. That's, that's Apostle Gabal used to say, that was the part of their, um, part, their power. Structures that that they was um um could keep secrets, man. You know they was hidden for many a years, man. Everyone, you know, when you just talk about the Illuminati, like 20, 10, 20 years ago, people look at you sideways, man. Even now they're still bugging out, but not as much because obviously they're just being exposed day in and day out. That's why you got this Weinstein, Jewish rat devil getting exposed, you know, because he probably didn't do what the elites taught, you didn't didn't do elites asked him to do. So they're exposing his ass, man, and just demonizing him. But this is part of their whole, that, that whole, you know, casting couch and shit is part of their witchcraft structure, man, because those ain't just sexual pleasures that they're enticing themselves with. That's all part of the rituals, uh, how to appease Satan, man, and get that, 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 that um, you know, that wealth, so to speak, in Hollywood, man, AKA Hollywood, you know, which is part of the, you know, holly, hollow wood, really, because that's, that's what it is. It's, it's witchcraft, man. It's mysticisms and all that. So that's what that place is all about, man. Doing perverted and and um, and you know sadistic things, man. It says have perverted thee, and thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. That the Lord's exposing these devils day in and day out for who they really are, man. The scum of the earth. It says therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it, it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. Just like brother, you know, Ramar did a sit down a few days back. You know, he had a um, hurricane over here in England, in the UK, in Ireland, and all that. And the shit got so bad it turned, you know, the um, the the you know, the, the, the weather got so bad it turned that the, you know everything into foam, man. The whole cars and houses and shit was covered in foam, man. So, like, you know, they call it a phenomenon. But really, that's just the hands of the Lord, man. Because it's signs of the times that the Lord's going to destroy this place, man. You know, usually you see snow and shit covering cars and street corners and that. It was nothing but foam everywhere, man. But that's just the power of the hand of the Lord. So, things like that are going to start rising where Esau can't explain shit. And you ain't going to have no explanations, man. He's just going to know that it's the Lord punishing his ass. I'm getting ready to, you know, decimate him with the nuclear missiles. And them chariots, man, them laser beams from them chariots when the Lord comes with his holy angels, you know, to deliver his elect and to destroy the wicked and enslave them. And one more verse and I'll close out. Oh, two more verses. It says, um, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast laboured. So that's, that's been your, you know, your power from the beginning, man, to just be into that witchcraft, man. That's your power source right there, man. It says, from thy youth. It says, if thou, if so, thou, if so be, thou shalt be able to profit. It says, if so, be thou mayest prevail. But you ain't going to prevail no more because then the demons are going to start straying away from you, man, that you trust in. And they're going to start lying to you, thinking you're going to get away with, you know, what you're doing and establish your new world order. But, then, you know, they work for the Heavenly Father and then they're on the left-hand side. They, they, you know, they have to obey orders, man. So they're just telling you what they want, what you think you need to hear, man. They ain't telling you what's really going down, because when that time comes, the Lord's gonna pull them demons off of your asses. You ain't gonna have no shield or not no power to help you, man. You know, from the heavens on down, man. You know, that them spirits ain't them wicked spirits on the left hand side ain't gonna be dealing with your ass no more, man, because they're under the power. On the authority of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, at the end of the day, you know he's the he's the king of he's the um, father of spirits, as the scriptures say. It says, um, "Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels." It says, "Let now thy astrolog astrologers or, or stargazers, and thy monthly prognosticators, stand up and save thee from the things that shall come upon thee." Which you know, as the next verse tells you, fire and brimstone, man, the nuclear missiles, destruction. Which you ain't gonna be able to put off no matter what you devils do, man. No matter how many treaties you try and sign. 
everything's going to be disannulled, man, and everything's going to be quantified with them nuclear missiles and that fire, man, once and for all, man. So it's beautiful times we're in, brothers, to stay strong, you know, keep praying, fasting, you know, keep the faith, man. And that's very important. We've got to keep the faith, man, because that's going to be the, you know, link, the links to our salvation, man, basically. Anyway, I want to stop um, blabbering on. Yeah, it's close out. Give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Until next time, I say Shalom.